Uh, hello and welcome to this demonstration uh, in the course for Secure Systems Engineering. Uh, in this particular course, we will look at a load time re relocatable techniques, which is essentially one of the ways we could actually have uh, address space layout randomization. So, uh, th the codes that we use are available as part of this uh, particular course. And uh, once you download and install the virtual box, uh, the codes will be available in uh, module 5 of direct subdirectory relock relock got. So, uh, in this particular directory, uh, we would actually have two source files. One is known as the driver.c and the other one is known as mylib.c. So, first let us look at mylib.c which essentially creates a library. So, uh, this is a very simple uh, library. It comprises of a, a global variable mylib underscore int. Uh, it has two functions set mylib underscore int and get mylib underscore int. The set mylib underscore int takes unsigned long uh, argument x and just copies it to this global uh, variable and uh, get mylib underscore int returns this global variable mylib underscore int. In order to create our library, what we do is uh, we have have a make file and uh, this make file we have several options but what we'll be seeing right now is uh, this one the make a library which is relocatable so in order to make the library we do a make clean and then make lib underscore relock so what happens over here is that uh, we compile uh, the source code mylib.c, create an object file mylib.o and then create our library. The library is called lib mylib.so and uh, it comprises of this object file mylib.o. So, what we also do is uh, do an obj dump uh, and disassemble the entire mylib.so. So, the entire mylib.so disassembly is present in this file lib mylib.so dot this. Now, in order to use this library, we have written a driver program uh, which is present in driver.c and uh, what we see over here is uh, we define uh, externs to function set my lib underscore int and get my lib underscore int according to the library which we have generated and we also de define this uh, extern unsigned long my lib underscore int which essentially is not very important. Uh, we invoke these functions as follows set my lib underscore int which would internally invoke the library set the value of uh, my lib underscore int to uh, 100 because we are passing the argument 100 and in the second line uh, we have this get my lib underscore int which should just print the value uh, of my lib underscore int which should be 100. Uh, uh, in a later part of the video, we will see uh, the use of this global data which is set to a value of 5555 and we print this value of 5555 over here. So, uh, let us actually compile this driver and as a make driver. Um, so, what you see here is that while compilation, we specify minus l mylib. So, this means that we are trying to link to the library that we have created. This minus l cap uh, minus capital L dot uh, is the search path for this particular library. Since we put dot over here, it would mean that we want to search for the library in uh, this particular directory. So, if we run this uh, program, uh, the program is called d relock. Then we would get the expected output. Um, yeah, we would get an error like this, uh, and this error occurs because we have not set the path for the LD uh, for the library. So we can do that as follows: export LD path equal to dot slash, and then run the executable. 
and we see as expected that the value set to my lib under uh, int is 100 and the value in global is 5555. This is as expected because uh, that is what is present in uh, the driver.c. Okay. So, now we will investigate why this particular code is relocatable. So, in order to do that, we will look at the disassembly of the library that we have created. So, uh, recollect that uh, this disassembly is present in uh, lib mylib.so.dis. So, let us open that up. Uh, we can open it in a separate thing. Search for the function set my lib underscore int, and here uh, we can do my lib c. So, what you see over here is the c uh, function for set my lib to underscore int, and the assembly equivalent is here. So, the first two instructions uh, push ebp and move uh, esp to ebp are uh, the usual things to actually create uh, the stack frame and then importantly is this function. Uh, this particular instruction loads from an offset in the stack into a location eax. So, what is done here is that the argument x which is pr present at an offset of 8 bytes from the frame pointer is loaded into eax. Therefore, at after execution of this instruction, the EAX register contains the value of 100, which is the argument that we specified uh, during our execution over here. Now, the next instruction is a store instruction, where it stores the value of EAX uh, to mylib underscore int. So, this is due to this uh, statement in C. So, this statement where the value of x is stored in my lib underscore int is executed in this instruction where eax which comprises of x is stored in my lib underscore int. But one thing you would notice over here is that the address for my lib underscore int which uh, was supposed to be over here uh, over here is filled with zeros. So, we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and this should be actually filled with the address of mylib underscore int. Similarly, in the next function get mylib underscore int, which returns the value of mylib uh, underscore int. Uh, this is done by this statement, where the contents of the global variable mylib underscore int is stored in the eax register. Okay. Now again what we see over here is just like uh, set mylib underscore int, uh, the address for uh, the mylib underscore int is all set to 0. So, note that this is what the compiler inserts. Now, in the load time relocatable technique, what happens is when we eventually load this program, the loader would identify that the address of mylib underscore int has to be fixed. So, therefore, it would identify that at locations uh, at this particular location uh, 5, 4, 7 in the uh, executable, uh, the actual address of mylib underscore int should be uh, should be replaced. Similarly, over here the actual value of mylib underscore int should be placed. So, let us see this happening in practice. So, note that the obj dump that we have obtained is from the compiler. Now, what we will do is that we will look at the output at runtime from gdb. So, uh, we do this as follows we run gdb d relock and uh, we put a breakpoint uh, at uh, a breakpoint at main and run the program 
and uh, single step into mylib underscore int and disassemble it. And what we see is that this is the disassembly of mylib underscore int. The disassembly and the instructions used are exactly same uh, as what the compiler has put in except for the fact that the 0 which is present here is replaced with the actual address of mylib underscore int. So, if I print the address of uh, mylib underscore int as follows. We see that uh, it has the value f7 ft3014. What is happening here is that the when the library is getting loaded into uh, the process would determine that the address of mylib underscore int has to be fixed and therefore it would fix it in this function. Similarly, the get mylib underscore int would also be fixed in a very similar manner. Next thing to actually think of is how does the uh, loader know where these locations are should be fixed. So, that can be identified by the table uh, present by a table present in the uh, executable and uh, we could use the command read elf minus r uh, lib my lib underscore so. So, what you see here is that there are two entries for mylib underscore int. So, uh, it defines it that at an offset of 547 and 552, a 32-bit integer needs to be fixed. So, if we look at uh, this particular uh, dump, we see that at an offset of 547 is essentially these four zeros and therefore, the loader will look into this relocation relocation table and determine that that 4 bytes have to be fixed and the address is uh, that of mylib underscore int. Similarly, uh, at an offset of 552 which corresponds to these 4 bytes in get mylib underscore int, uh, the address of mylib underscore int has to be fixed. So, in this way, uh, the loader would determine at the time of loading that uh, these uh, regions in memory have to be fixed with the correct address. This it achieves a relocatable code. The uh, advantage of this code is that it is very simple to understand and uh, however, uh, it makes a load time extremely complex especially if you have a large number of uh, such variables, then the load time would actually be uh, take quite long. And also it requires the loader to actually go and modify executable code, uh, which is not what is actually required. So, in the next demonstration, what we will actually look at is another way of obtaining relocatable code using PIC or position independent code. Thank you.